Name ist Jan Grötzner, ich bin Chefarzt in der Thoraxchirurgie hier im Klinikum Lemgo und es ist mir eine große Ehre und Freude, Professor René Petersen aus Kopenhagen, aus dem Rixhospitalett in Kopenhagen, hier begrüßen zu dürfen, der zwei Tage bei uns, ähm, uns im OP zur Seite steht. Wir sind gerade dabei, ein neues minimalinvasives Thoraxchirurgieprogramm aufzubauen und äh, ja, da ist es sehr gut, dass Professor Petersen uns hilft, der über eine 20-jährige Erfahrung im Bereich der minimalinvasiven Thoraxchirurgie verfügt ähm, und sicherlich einer der Koryphäen der äh, minimalinvasiven Thoraxchirurgie in Europa ist. Ja, ich werde mich zuerst bedanken für die Einladung. Es ist eine große Ehre, hier zu sein und mit Ihrem Team zu operieren heute. Äh, ich freue mich, dass äh, wir werden... Äh, Segmentektomie durchführen. So at uh, the risk of stated in Copenhagen, uh, we did the first minimal invasive lobectomy in 1999. So we now have more than 20 years of experience in video assisted thoracoscopic surgery uh, to Altogether, we've done now 4,100 uh, VATS lobectomies and uh, been a reference center in Europe for this. We've trained many surgeons across the world in the standardized three-port anterior Copenhagen technique uh, with great success, I think. Uh, and we've trained also many of our residents. Uh, we are now at a level where our conversion rate is less than 1% during the last five years. Simultaneously with this, I've been developing a segmentectomy program over the last 10 years, a VATS segmentectomy program, and I've now performed more than 350 uh, VATS segmentectomies uh, with uh, very good results. We've incorporated uh, into the minimal invasive approach an enhanced recovery after surgery program, uh, where it's important to get patients out of bed early, get them mobilized, get all the chest drains out as soon as possible uh, and send the patient home. We recently published a paper in the British Journal of Surgery uh, where we show that the median in-hospital stay after a standard vatslobectomy is two days. Um, so that's, that's very satisfying, I think, and we don't send our patient to a nursery home, they are sent home to themselves and then they're seen in the outpatient clinic two weeks later. Actually, the aim of this paper was how to improve this even further because there are still uh, a part of patients who are not uh, sent home on the second day and we are constantly working to improve our program uh, to lower uh, complication rates uh, for the safety of patients. Uh, segmentectomy is, is, um, is becoming um, the new thing in, in, uh, in lung cancer surgery. We are, um, have just seen a publication in The Lancet from Japanese colleagues, a randomized controlled trial showing the efficacy and survival of um, segmentectomy versus lobectomy for smaller uh, lung cancers, less than two centimeters. Uh, and it's definitely going to be uh, incorporated into current guidelines that uh, the small uh, lung cancers uh, should have a segmentectomy rather than a lobectomy. And of course, uh, with the minimal invasive approach as we are doing today. So um, the, the challenge for, for performing segmentectomy is that it's technically more demanding than lobectomy. There's a longer learning curve to learn how to do uh, segmentectomies. There are more segments to do than lobes. Um, so in that way, it's, it's technically difficult. And one of the challenges is to know exactly the border of the segment. And we have, um, you, in, in this case, we use infra, an infrared camera and a, a, a colorization uh, item like ICG indocene in green that we inject into the vessels of the patients. And with the infrared camera, we can see exactly the border between the segments. Once we have divided the vessels for the segment to be removed, we can see a clear border and we know exactly where to put our stapler, which is an instrument that divides the long parenchyma and seals all uh, uh, the air within the segment. Um, 
And this is what we're going to demonstrate uh, today, uh, how to use this system and enhance uh, the quality of the procedure itself.